Welcome to the Digital Photography Cafe. I'm Trevor Current, your digital marketing guy. And I'm Joseph Christina, your professional photographer. So grab a latte, pull up a chair, and join us as we chat about the art and business of photography. So, all right, everyone, we're back. And on the show, we have Pocket Wizard. And we have Pocket Wizard's director of marketing, David Schmidt. How you doing, David? Not too bad. Excellent, excellent. So for the listeners that are, you know, been buried underneath a rock for the last uh, couple of years and don't know who Pocket Wizard is, go ahead and give us a little background. Um, Pocket Wizards are the devices that uh, make your remote flashes and your remote cameras go off. And the easiest example on the uh, remoteness of it is when you're watching that NBA basketball game and you see those flashes going off in the ceiling and the photographers are sitting down on the court. Well, it's the pocket wizard that's making it all happen. So let me go ahead and ask you. I know um, for the show, there's usually each show you have something that you highlight. What are you highlighting this uh, this year at WPBI? Well, a couple years ago, we introduced uh, what we call the Control TL system with the Mini TT1 and the Flex TT5. Uh, we came out first for Canon, and we brought the Nikon equivalent out earlier this year. And then back in September, uh, these are upgradable products where when we come up with new ideas, new features that we can run through firmware, we just put it on the internet, you download it, stuff it in your own Mini TT1, and you get something new. Uh, in September, um, we launched uh, uh, a new version of it, which added um, what we call hypersync automation, which is sounds a lot more complex than it is. It is actually pretty complex, but the automation part makes it easy. And what hypersync automation does is allow you to kind of forget about X-sync speeds. So now you don't have to worry about the shutter speed so much when you're using your remote flashes. This is really cool for the uh, guys using the big studio lights because they can shoot at a 500th of a second, a thousandth of a second, or even higher, uh, which gives the action sports photographer new capabilities. The portrait photographer can shoot in broad daylight with big flash and cut the ambient light down. It's it's some very cool stuff. Yeah, that is really cool. So you know, there's, there's a lot of people starting to get involved more with small flashes now. Um, yeah, it's kind of like the big trend. For those that really aren't familiar with the process of how Pocket Wizards work, can you give us, give us a little more detail about how that works? Well, the original Pocket Wizards were simply a fire signal. You know, you push the shutter on your camera, it sent a signal to your flash, or your remote camera said, go off right now. The new ones are a, a power control platform, which means if you want to use TTL, TTL is a power, you got to be able to set the power settings of remote flashes, and the TTL system does that automatically. Now you can do that via radio, so you can put your flashes wherever you want to, behind a wall, under a planter, out in bright sun, 300 feet away, and still trigger them with your pocket wizards. What is the range on them? Uh, it varies depending on the environment that you're in. It, uh, it can be up to several hundred feet. Wow, that's really so great. So for most people, that's plenty of distance. Sure. Know? Now you can control all of it then from the, from the transmitter camera right on your camera. You can put your remote speed lights out there and change the power settings of your remote flash without getting up and moving over to your flash. You can do it in TTL and you can do it in manual. So in TTL you might want to say, hey, I need that flash a little bit more and that flash a little bit less and just dial them up, dial them down. With manual you're setting the absolute power settings and again it's all right from the uh, camera. Position. Right. So you can set them as ratio or you can set them as specific amounts for each, each exactly. one in the group. Yep. Okay. That's the way to go. I know I shoot a lot of uh, outdoor and sometimes if you don't have line of sight on some of these smaller flash units, you just they're not gonna fire as right. soon as you get out of distance. Pocket Wizards is the way to go. I have Pocket Wizards, I have the old school ones, the plus twos. Okay, right? they're the workhorse. <laughs> exactly what they are. They're the workhorse. I got a hand, you know a lot let's put it this way and uh, they need to be upgraded I wish those could be firmware upgraded <laughs> but that's not gonna happen those are on off right yeah excellent excellent well I tell you what at least the, everyone that's listening they kind of get an idea of what pocket wizard is I'm sure everyone knows but to get more information about pocket wizard where would they go well we're pretty easy to find uh, go to the web go to pocketwizard.com go to Facebook slash pocket wizard go to Twitter Pocket Wizard, at Pocket Wizard, uh, we don't hide. We're out there. Um, you can the, the easiest place is either Twitter or Facebook. You'll you'll know what's going on up to the minute. Appreciate you, Dave, being on the show. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Thank you so much. 